Welcome back. Uh, what a difference a day makes. Yesterday we did the Aaron snowblower video and it was 80 degrees. I was in shorts and a t-shirt and today it's 45. Big changes have definitely have definitely happened. So we've got our first fire going of the heating season out here in the shed. Just relaxing on a Saturday. Um, but I did want to show you some updates that I've been meaning to do for some time and that's on our new snowmobiles. Um, not new per se, new to us. Colin and I both bought snowmobiles. Ours are both the same model, 2006. Uh, the mileage varies. I have considerably more miles on mine. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of um, the work that I'm doing on Colin's snowmobile. So hopefully you like this video and uh, let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a 2006 Skidoo uh, Rev platform, Rev chassis. It's a 500 SS. So you can see, and this is uh, red. I haven't seen many of these in red, but it's in really nice shape. Um, very low miles, only 1,600 miles. Now the reason I have the dash taken apart and the covers off is these carb boots. And you know, you got two carburetors and then you got two carb boots. I think it's ethanol related. And what happens is the vibration of the engine, the ethanol, I think will will work on these rubber um, boots and you'll get a, a crack or it'll start coming apart. And you definitely want to change that and get that taken care of because if you don't, you'll get more air in whatever cil cylinder has a broken boot. And that'll heat up, so it's going to run lean, it's going to heat up your cylinder and you'll blow, you'll blow the motor. Uh, from what I understand, they get pretty decent mileage. That's really why I went with the 500 SS is because one it has a 600, 597 cc engine in it. So you're getting 600 motor and a 500 platform. Um, but 105 horsepower is what these uh, do. It's <laughs> plenty, plenty of power for someone who just wants to trail ride. Um, I took off the secondary clutch that is um, getting cleaned up and uh, this needs, this actually feels really good. This is your primary clutch. Um, I put new spark plugs in it because those were really beat up, power washed everything. And the reason why I have all of this taken apart is because what happens with these is the fuel gauge, which drops down into this hole right here. These things uh, will stick and they won't work. So in the case of this, it just had a lot of had a lot of junk in it, so I went online and of course there's a fix for these where you take out this middle metal rod, take the float out, and then you just file down a thirty second of an inch from that and round some shoulders on this, and and it works. So I actually tested this in a five gallon tank of gas, and it and it works based on the the look of this. That's ethanol right there. That's the telltale sign of ethanol. Because this doesn't come out. This is set. This is set in there. But when you see those cracks and splits, that's ethanol. I've seen it too many times. It looks worse than it is. This thing came apart like this with just a couple screws. Three or four screws, not a lot. So as soon as that part comes in the mail, we'll get that button back up. And then the other thing I have to fix is the kill switch. This kill switch doesn't work. Um, there is a safety um, security key, uh, but you need a working kill switch. So just have to clean the contacts there and that will be good. Um, 1600 miles on this sled, as I said. Carbides are in really good shape. Uh, plastics, everything. It does not have a pick track. Um, and different from, and mine's a 2006 as well, I'll show you that in a second. This one just has the two gauges here for your speed and your tack, and then it's got trip. Uh, but there's cutouts here for water temperature, because these are liquid cooled, and fuel. Mine's just a little different. So uh, why, don't we, why don't we do that? Why don't we go check out mine? It's a little dark in the trailer, but let's go check that out. So one of the reasons why I bought a new trailer 
was because I needed some storage space. So I needed a secure place for the ATVs. This is Collins, but this will come out, go in the garage. Um, this is it's gonna be hard to see because it's dark in here. This is my snowmobile. And I've got a pick track. I have, uh, let's see, there's 4,800 miles on this snowmobile. Um, two inch riser on the handlebars in really great shape I mean just beautiful shape and it's uh, very much it's just like Collins except mine's black this is where he would have his fuel monitor fuel gauge um, mine has the the fuel gauge and the water on there um, just like Collins we've got heated handlebars heated thumb throttle which will be great and uh, both of them have electric start. So let's try firing it up. Oh, Looks choke. So 48, 46. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's a two-stroke. <laughs> Can't run them too long in a covered trailer. Um, yeah, so it's got quite a few miles on it, but the condition of the sled is in really great shape. What I like about it, it's got two. So I've got a heated, and Colin has this too. We both have a heated uh, visor input. So you can plug in here, but I got a second one here, so if I get a, a rider on the back with an additional seat, 12 volt outlet right there. So yeah. So like I was saying, you can get these things pretty cheap now because um, it hasn't snowed in so long. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get a shot from the front. So here's a shot from the front. Twin halogen headlights skis and everything and all of the I mean there's just there's just no rust on it I put new carbides on it and uh, this thing is ready to roll ready to hit the trails so now if it'll just snow we'll be in good shape we can trail her just a half mile away and then we can pick up trails and head north head east we can go a long way so I want to thank everybody for checking out this video Hope you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and click that like button and we'll see everybody in the next video. Take care.